everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole and today I'm going to be talking about all my final books. If you're wondering what that means, I am talking about the series where I only have one book left to go. That means that the series is out and either I own it or I don't, but there's only one book that I need to read and then that'll be a completed series. I'm rather embarrassed looking at this because I thought there would be more to speak about in this video, but there isn't. There are obviously a few that are ongoing series that I am up to date on, which I need to look at as well and I may do a separate video on that, but for now I'm just going to talk about the ones that I have that are just one book left and then I'll be done. The inspiration for this video comes from Steph Loves who is the host of the final book support group and that is all about supporting each other into getting through series, getting them all read. I do believe that she did a video like this on her final books so I will leave all the information to the final book support group and Steph's video down in the description if you want to go and check that out. So the first book that I need to finish is The Battle for Raw. This is the third book in the Raw series. That is a middle grade series where we are following twins Arthur and Rose. When they were younger they had this kind of imaginary land. It was kind of like a tent thing in the middle of the attic at their grandfather's house and they'd go in there and go to this land of raw where there was all these kind of different creatures and something's quite scary as well like villain type things going on in there. A lot of fun adventure. When Rose and Arthur come back to stay with their grandfather they realise that this land of raw that they imagined when they were kids is not so imaginary and they accidentally end up there. It is such a great series, it is really magical, really atmospheric, I love the creativity that's gone into this series. I obviously have read book one and two so I just really need to get around to book three. I don't think it's been out too long but I just want to see how this series wraps up to be honest. The next book is also another middle grade series that I need to get ticked off and that is the Delivery to the Lost City which is the third book in the Train to Impossible Places series. Again this is a lovely magical adventure series, that is what I like in middle grade mainly to be honest so you won't be surprised that there is another one coming up for a middle grade series as well. In this story we follow a girl called Susie and she hears a noise in the middle of the night, comes downstairs into her living room and finds a train in the middle of the living room. Obviously that is not normal and shouldn't be there but this is no ordinary train, it's a train to impossible places and that literally means anything. It can go anywhere, to the moon, to other planets, anywhere. Susie obviously decides to go on this train because why not? We then get to meet the postmaster and so many different characters throughout the series and see Susie grow and develop and the friendships that she gets with them and all the trolls and everything like that. It's just really magical so I'm really looking forward to finishing off this series as well. And the final middle grade series that I want to finish is the 13 treasures series i think that's what the series is called and the last book is the 13 secrets this is a series by michelle harrison who is one of my favorite middle grade writers i love the pinch of magic series but i'm already up to date on that one i'm not sure if there's any more coming out in that one hopefully there will be but for this one i just have one more book to go in this one we are following a girl called tanya and she has what is called second sight which means that she can see fairies but the fairies really hate this they don't like that tanya can see them so they make her life a living hell it's also really difficult for tanya because she wants to tell people and has told people but who would believe her that she can see the fairies so they do ridiculous things that Tanya gets blamed for because she has no other way of explaining what's going on and I just love that. This kind of twist on fairies because normally, especially like with middle grade, it's like they're more nice and things and there are nice ones, don't get me wrong, but I love that they just make her life a living hell and just hate that she can see them. It's great. I love the character of Tanya. She 
is really confident and doesn't make decisions just to move the plot along or anything like that. We also meet another character called Fabian who is friends with Tanya and they kind of go on these adventures together and I've really enjoyed where the series has gone up to now and again I've I've said this with like all of them obviously. I do really want to read the next one, it is just that I just never get around to them so hopefully me putting this out there and I have put a couple of these on my TBR for May so hopefully I will read them in the first two weeks when the next final book support group sort of read a fun thing is happening so hopefully I'll be up to date with a couple of these soon. The next book is These Violent Ends. This is the second book in the These Violent Delights series. I don't know if that's what it's called, what the series is called. It's only a duology actually. Um, but the first book is These Violent Delights. In that story, it is a Romeo and Juliet retelling in Shanghai. Obviously because it's like Romeo and Juliet retelling, it is about kind of feuding families. There are feuding gangs in this one and inevitably a romance between Romeo and Juliet. They're not actually called that in this series. I think it's Romeo and Juliet. I forget, but it's essentially them. You get what I'm saying with this. I did enjoy the first one, but it didn't live up to the massive hype for me that's going around for this series duology. But I am interested to see what happens in the second one. In the first one, we are introduced to kind of a monster that's going around and this is kind of what brings the Romeo and Juliet characters together because they decide that they must work together to kind of go after this monster and find out what's happening in the city and unravel this kind of mystery. The romance for me was kind of like slow burn and just there wasn't much to it and there wasn't like that banter or anything that I enjoy that I say all the time and the writing was good in my opinion so that didn't put me off and I did really like the mystery element of it. The reveal at the end as well is kind of what's got me interested in wanting to pick up the next one so hopefully as a duology together I will enjoy both of them. I think I gave the first one three stars so I don't want you to think that I didn't like it because obviously if I didn't I wouldn't pick up the next one. And the last book that I'm going to mention today is The Wrath of Mercy. I think that's what it's called. This is the second book in the duology for The Bright and the Pale. I read this not too long ago. I think it was for Polathon this year and I had mixed feelings on this book. With it only being a duology, I think I do want to continue with it and just read the second book and just see what happens. I really enjoyed the first part of Bright and the Pale but in the middle it just kind of got really boring I'm not gonna lie. It probably doesn't help that I've already kind of forgot what happened in the first one but I believe we were following a girl called Valeria and she her family were frozen but she was the only person to just survive this big freeze. She ends up going to live with these kind of thieves in this thieves guild and then her one of her friends is killed or something I can't really remember I will need to look it up again before I read this one but the action did kind of slow down in the middle and there was a lot of betrayals and things happening that it was kind of like betrayal 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 why are you even surprised anymore that this is happening like because I'm not as a reader but towards the end, I think it was like the last maybe 50 pages or something, there was a character that was introduced that I am really intrigued about and then also things that happened that I'm really intrigued about and I was kind of like, why couldn't the whole book be like this? So that is what has got me interested to pick up the next one. I think if it was a full-blown series, I'd be like, no, can't be bothered. But with it being a duology, I'm thinking, yeah. I will pick this one up at some point hopefully. So that's all the books or the final books that I have in series that I'm hoping to get around to soon. Please let me know down in the comments if you have read any of these series and what your thoughts are or what your final books are. Do you have a lot or do you just have a few like me because 
you need to read book two, three, four before you can get to the final one. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.